Assessment has an important role in education, and it has a critical role in the teaching process. Through appropriate assessment, teachers can classify and grade their students, give feedback, and structure their teaching accordingly. According to Pierce in 2002, assessment is a cru crucial part of any learning and teaching activity. It not only informs instructional decisions made on a day-to-day -day basis and helps diagnose students' strengths and weaknesses related to classroom instruction, but also provides specific feedback to students in support of their learning. Our focus will be on a social distancing tool. Plickers is a rapid response classroom polling app that lets teachers use one mobile device to scan paper cards for student responses. Our objectives for today are to focus on printing Plickers cards, creating a class, creating class questions, and deploying a live lesson. This video will focus on Plickers cards and printing them. Plickers always offers free printable cards for teachers. You can get a 740. and print these particular cards for your students. This is number 10, number 11, 12, etc. cetera. Uh, you can print one through 40. Other options are one through 63, an expanded set, a large font set, and jumbo cards, one through 63. For large student groups. So these jumbo cards are much larger and these cards can be printed on one sheet of paper, laminated to protect them. Or if you want to save time and effort, Amazon sells the cards laminated and ready to use four plickers for a set of $40, $25. This video will demonstrate how to add a class within plickers. So on the left hand side of the screen, there are tabs. I click on add new class. Enter the class name. I can also import it from the Google Classroom. Now I can click on Add Students. I can import them one by one. Or I can copy. And paste from an existing spreadsheet. I can sort them by last name. And click on done. To generate my student class. Moreover, I can click on settings. I can alter the class color. Delineate the subject and the school. The grade level. Click on save changes. And now I have a class for 6F with the student names and the specific card number for each child. Also allows me to print a class roster via PDF. Now within Flickers, I'm going to demonstrate how to discover packs by clicking on the left hand side of the screen, the left tab, there's a discover tab. And there's packs that have been created, carrying capacity, cycles of matter, and energy transfer. Let's focus on biodiversity created by 
Miss Barrow. The pack covers concepts surrounding biodiversity with plants and animal species. So these are some of the questions within the pack. And what I can do is add these to a specific class by clicking on Add Queue. Once I do that, I go to 6B Brown Middle School, and I have the pack set up. within the uh, class for assessment. So I can view the set. And see all of the questions that were embedded. I've already created some questions in my library on a curriculum development training. So I can open up that folder. Let's take a look at this particular question. According to Del Schlaylock, standards are useful because they help in with the answers A and B. The alignment and integration of curriculum instruction assessment and clarifying what students are to know and be able to do. So the answer would be none of the above. I can add it to the queue by adding it to the specific class that I've created and having it available. Going back to Discover, there are packs available for early math, English language arts, high school biology, middle school science, and creative arts, foreign languages, math, pre-K through five, and miscellaneous subjects. So this is a quick overview on embedding the particular questions into your classes. Now this component will focus on deploying the assessment to students within your course. So again, to add a question to your class, you can add to Q, click on the particular class. Then within your classes, you can click the class and scan play now. Once you click on play now, the students will see the question on the projector and you can sign in with your scanning device, which is your Apple, your iPad or your smartphone to collect data. You can click on show graph or reveal answers or hide answers for students. But you should see an icon in the upper left corner which says live for the particular question. Moreover, this panel here delineates what question is up next and the student card numbers. Now this particular piece will demonstrate how clickers after the app has been downloaded to an Android device. The classes are available, 6B, 6F. I'm going to focus on 6F. And there's four tabs on the bottom, which no classes, recent questions, my library. And I want to ensure that the same question that's projecting up on the screen is the question that I click on in the particular application. So in this example, I'm going to click on the first step in the model is to A, denote a subject, B, plan, C, map the curriculum, D, none of the above. So I click on the blue icon and then I find the clickers card and I begin to scan them. Once I scan all the clickers card, 
I will generate all of the data and the data will populate on my device. I can show the graph. I can show the correct or hide the graph. Today we focused on assessment to alter instructional practices. Specifically, we focused on printing Plickers cards, creating a class, creating class questions, and deploying a live lesson utilizing Plickers. Thank you. And